In this video, we are going to show you the top 5 IPS commands for your 48, and we are starting right now. The inclusion of IPS in your 48 is one of those things that makes your 48 a next generation firewall. It deals with exploits, it deals with anomalies, IPS engine is just about everywhere. So let's start with our first command that is config IPS global. There are some 48 models that supports also the extended database which includes much more signature so to check it out set database and you can use the regular and you can also use the extended so if you have the extended don't hesitate to use it when we create or configure IPS sensors we need to plan them carefully. Why? Because they consume a lot of resources from your 48 in terms of CPU and memory. Now, whenever you head up to your IPS signatures page and add signatures, think of two main things. The first one, operating systems. If you're using a Windows-based network, don't use any signatures that are related to macOS or Linux. The second thing is the direction of the traffic. Now, if you're protecting clients, use only signatures that are meant to protect clients. If you're protecting server, do the same. The next command is for those who run 48 with multiple processors. You can actually run several IPS engines simultaneously. So how do you do it? You head over to your CLI, configure IPS global. Now set engine count. Now if you set the integer into zero, then 48 will choose how many engines are to use simultaneously but you can also change it according to your needs. Your IPS engine needs as much power as it can get. There are many 48 models that support hardware acceleration, either using the NP ASIC or the CP ASIC. Mine uh, uses the CP ASIC. So why not giving it to him? Use the config IPS global and then set, in my case it's the CP, set CP acceleration mode or those that supports the NP, just use the set NP acceleration mode and set it to basic or to none or in this CP case to an advanced mode which supports more IPS patterns. Your IPS engine consumes lots and lots of memory and CPU cycles. Now, if you see spikes in your 48 due to CPU high usage and so on, you can diagnose test application IPS monitor and there you will see different tests that you can uh, do on your IPS engine. You can disable it totally using option two, or you can toggle bypass status, which actually means that the IPS engine works, but doesn't scan any traffic. So play around with those options whenever you have issues with your IPS engine. And before we end, please subscribe to get more videos like that.